Well, this should be interesting. So, as you're watching this, obviously, this is my first speed coloring video. Now, at the beginning, if you saw it, it probably moved too fast. I am coloring in Color Quest. It is by Joanna Webster. It is a color by number book. The interesting thing is that each page has a different set of shapes to color and they have their own color ledger and that changes as well. So for example, this page, it's all little triangles and I'm blind as a bat. So the only way I can see these numbers is A, with a magnifying glass, which is my new best friend or B, extremely good light, which is what I used in this case because I figured seeing a big magnifying glass over what I'm coloring probably wouldn't be the best experience for all of you. So uh, I colored one page out of this last month. It was the very first page and I absolutely love it. This picture took about four hours to complete, which Others probably could have done it faster, but we all know how slow I am when I color. So when I looked how much I squished it down, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is still over 15 minutes long. <laughs> but, you know, hey, I guess for four hours worth of footage, it's not too bad. But the picture I colored last month, if you'll go back and watch my completed pages video for September, it turned out to be a cheetah, I think. And there is a place in the back where you can see all the completed pictures, but that's cheating for me. <laughs> for the way I, way I want to do things, I don't want to know. I want it to be a surprise. It's a lot more fun that way. Which is pretty funny because, and I'm sure you've already figured it out by now, but I wasn't paying attention. At one point, probably here a little bit after this, I figured out what this picture was. And this should be even more so legit about, I had no idea. Because had I known, I would have colored this last month. Hint, hint. <laughs> it would have been for a color alone, that's for sure. Uh, I wonder if this still counts. But anyway, <laughs> so I have fell in love with color by number books lately. This one, like I said, it has some have triangles, some have rectangles like pixel art type pages. There are circles that look like the Quirkles book that I got, which is another color by number. I don't think I've done a flip through of that one. It's kind of hard to do a flip through of these because unless they're done in a certain way, you can't tell what they are because it's just a bunch of blank pages with numbers. So I don't know how interesting that necessarily would be. I could probably just show you a page or two and you'd get the idea. So my goal in these is to hopefully do maybe at least one a month. If you like seeing this as a speed coloring, I can continue to do so. Hopefully this is right, done right, and like I said, it's my first experience actually creating a speed coloring video, which I figured this would be perfect for such a thing. I do have some music I can add, but I figured, hey, let me talk a bit because we all know how much I like to talk. And the beauty of this is I, <laughs> I don't have to color while I talk, so maybe I'll be a little more coherent, so to speak. I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. It is Saturday when I'm loading this. I have been working on this though for probably about the past week. The first night I decided to do that was I think Monday night and I was working on it because here in good old Tennessee we uh, apparently have hit tornado season which is what we get instead of fall a lot of times. <laughs> Heck, that's what we get instead of winter sometimes. That's just, you know, here it's 20 degrees one day, 70 the next. But uh, I think Monday night was the really the first big storm front we had passed through here when it's a warm day. Which I'll say, it, I didn't like skipping from winter to summer, but we didn't really have a tornado season in the spring this time. So allergy season, yes. So spring was allergy season this year. So we hadn't really had one of those. And of course I panicked because every community around me just about has been 
hammered by a tornado probably in the last 15 years but for some reason my town has been pretty lucky we've had some small damage here and there from straight line winds but i'm always waiting for that shoe to fall so to speak and i do have a small closet under the stairs and yes i have stuffed 11 cats in that closet before in carriers i ha have a system at one point i had big enough carriers for two cats and it was like a jigsaw puzzle or one of those things where you have all the names on a board and you have like lines drawn who if i had to double them up who could go into a carrier together without trying to kill each other and it, it was it was not easy to come up with that system anyway i wasn't anticipating anything super serious monday night just because it had already started raining and I was still nervous though, and I knew it was gonna, there was a watch till like 2 a.m. So I thought, well, let me go ahead and get started coloring on this. This will be a good distraction. And what's really funny is I kept hearing, you know, thunder and wind picked up or in the cat's in so they wouldn't get blown away. And um, <laughs> we do get a lot of wind up here, even on pretty days. It, it can be one heck of a wind. We're up right on the edge of a ridge. And uh, pretty much if you drive south, you go down the ridge and there is a noticeable difference. When it comes to snow, we tend to get more than the ones in the lower regions. If there's flooding, it tends to be more there than up here. So, anyway, wind was picking up and everything. It was about 8, 9 o'clock. I knew the line of storms wasn't supposed to come through till later. I wasn't paying any attention. I just thought, okay, these are normal storms. And then I thought, well, maybe I should check the news. And yeah, a uh, tornado warning had just expired for my county. <laughs> So this worked a little too well in terms of distraction. I, uh, thank goodness it wasn't serious for my area, though unfortunately I believe in western Tennessee and probably s southern Tennessee around the Alabama and Georgia borders, I believe they did have some damage and I, I always hate to see that. Unfortunately, there seems to always be when we get something like this there seems to always be one area that just really gets hammered and that was the case here as well i call us like we're like the second or third probably the second tornado alley after kansas and oklahoma and all that so at least it's been that way since i moved back down to tennessee so anyway yeah so this worked a little too well <laughs> i actually got my husband really interested in these he may even guest star in a speed coloring video like this because he he loves this kind of thing especially the little rectangle ones like the pixel art stuff but it'll be a guest star where you'll see him do this but you won't hear him say anything <laughs> he doesn't really want to talk but he actually shows some interest in setting up the camera and coloring something like this so that should be cool, and if that happens, I may do a voiceover, I may do an introduction, who knows? I was sitting here thinking, okay, how can I find something to talk about I bet for this long? I better go ahead and download some music. And I did some of the free music from YouTube, but it looks like I'm not going to have to worry about it this time. So, um, yeah. I don't think my voice is quite as soothing as the music I had selected, but of course we can save that for another time. This weekend is unfortunately going to be kind of busy in the beginning of the week. I have to, unfortunately, as I mentioned in a video, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, uh, someone in my husband's family has passed away and the service and visitation and everything are this weekend and i will be doing some traveling my husband's already uh traveling as well but i wanted to make sure he had enough time to do what he needs to do there and you know with this many cats even if it was one cat it would be difficult for both of us to leave for an extended period of time mostly just because they are getting older and like Bagheera needs his insulin shots and I can tell you right now 
my mom and dad are not going to be giving shots to a cat especially that cat because they don't ever see him when they do come feed them because he hides under the bed so i'm not going to ask them to do that he can miss one maybe two shots but i hate for him to miss much more than that and um yeah i don't think we've left annie for any length of time too since she's come into the house but anyway i didn't want my husband to feel pressured to have to come home because i you know we need to take care of the cats my parents have had a lot going on with moving and closing on a house i think they actually close on their old house next week fingers crossed i i know they're ready for that to be done so i hate to ask them to do that and also i just i'm not feeling great yesterday was a really bad day it i felt bad but it was more so than just my stomach i don't know what's going on don't want to talk a lot about it at the moment though if i record some more videos today i'll probably go into detail but i am not feeling all that hot anyway i hate to go up there and be a burden to anyone in terms of i can't eat this food or if i eat this food and then i get sick of course i take my nausea medicine with me but sometimes even that doesn't really take care of all of it so I don't want to be difficult and I don't want to put any kind of extra burden with this because uh I believe this is it's his well it was his grandfather I'll say this much and um they he's been really lucky to not have um any immediate family pass away and uh this is all a new experience I think for him and his dad it was his dad's parents and or his dad's dad and uh so yeah it's pretty tough for all of them and uh so anyway i'm not going to go into much de more detail than that because again that is not my family i don't i want to respect their privacy on that so heck i probably wouldn't even talk at length about if it was they are my family too but if it was my immediate family i probably wouldn't want to talk about it much either obviously so i am going to pre-record some videos this should be going up on saturday sunday i plan to have some kind of hopefully color and chat it might just be a one-off bit oh lord you can see my head i have my headphones on so of course my hair was like sticking up in all directions i desperately need to get it cut and highlighted i've been so sick lately i just haven't really felt like going through the two-hour process but boy it's getting on my nerves um yeah if you are like really if you really have issue watching people you know not get all the stuff colored in for all the numbers because I, of course i continuously have to go back on numbers i've missed this may not be the video for you i probably should have said that earlier but uh, over the next few days, I have planned, like I said, a, it may even be a carefree coloring video because I haven't done one of those in forever. And really, I think all my coloring chats at this point are carefree coloring. But um, yeah, I, I'm really thinking about that. I haven't used my water-based markers in a long time. I think it's time to bust those out. But I'm going to do that. I'm hoping to do a review video. I... Uh, with the coloring at any budget series i am really wanting to change how i do that it, it takes a lot of work to get prepped to do multiple uh products in a video so i am thinking i i have a plan to revamp that and do it in a different way it is pretty much all my product reviews are going to go under the coloring at any budget because i mean really and truly that's where they all should be and probably won't go in order like I have been doing we'll we may bounce around a bit but if I can just do a couple in each video I think it would be less overwhelming for anyone interested in it and it's going to be a lot less work on me because I'm getting to the point that I dread doing it because it takes so much prep I still will have my uh, google sheet of the products and I still want to continue comparing them to others so I have ways to do that and everything will still be in one place on that Google Sheet document so that you can see it all at a glance at that time. So 
I hope to do one of those. And yeah, color and chats. Don't know which pictures I'm doing yet. Off camera. I am coloring up a storm. I actually ordered a small set. It was a 12 pack of the Blick Studio art markers because I was really curious about them. And I did color a picture today with those. And I'm going to talk about those probably in the carefree coloring video because I was really impressed with them. They were, I know a lot of people say they're substitutes for Copics, but in all honesty, they remind me more of the Prismacolor markers. And I love those markers, as y'all know. So I'm going to look at a price comparison. These may actually end up being cheaper, especially if there are refills available, which I've heard someone say. So yeah, super exciting. I will be looking more into those. I have other things I have not even taken out of the box yet. I'm enjoying watercolor pencils, just all kinds of stuff. I'm pretty much trying to do something different every day. So, oh goodness gracious, I'm trying to think. We're so close to the end, I guess I might as well continue and talk, right? <laughs> It'd be silly to put on music now. I think I'm like, it's only a couple more minutes. So yeah, like I said, you look at the length of this video and you think, oh my gosh, because this looks like it's 17 and a half minutes or something. And you're probably sitting there thinking, why is a speed coloring video that long? Well, like I said, it took over four hours <laughs> to get this done. I am very slow in coloring, even with markers, as we all know. But uh, if you do like me coloring this type of stuff online, or online, if you like me coloring this type of stuff on video, let me know, and um, I will certainly do more of these. I thought it was a perfect choice for speed coloring because it's so detailed, and I know a lot of people are intimidated by these. I will say if you have trouble seeing the numbers, get a magnifying glass. I mean, it's okay. We're, we're all here. I'm blind as a bat. I have one, and I told somebody I would cuddle with it if I could, if it wouldn't piss the cats off. So, don't be discouraged. I'll put the link to this in the description. And, yeah, we're almost to the end. So, there you go.